でいいんじゃろう。
Hello? Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Right, good evening. Are the presenters complete today or tonight? So this evening we are going to talk about introduction to group behavior. Yeah. So we talk about group. Previous meeting we talk about individual behavior. Now we talk about the group behavior. After this, maybe we will talk about organizational behavior, so right? Okay, so so the present, the, the, how many people uh, will uh, present today? How many, how many present, uh, how many people are there? One group, how many people in one group? Three people or two or one? Three people, sir. People, and are they complete? Are they complete? Who will be the host for this for this discussion? Who will be the host? Sylvia, sir. Sylvia, yeah. Okay, so before we start our lecture, so as usual, you must keep the opening comment first, and then you must say your meeting, your name, and the purpose of your entry of your entering Jones meeting, and then what you know about the introduction to book with behavior. Okay, please from Desi Kasanjaya. Is Desi in? Okay, yeah, not as yes, not Evani, please Evani. Evani, all yeah, please. Okay, yeah. okay, sir. Thank you. So uh, I would I would like to say uh, thank you so much uh, for sir, and then I want to say good luck for the the presenter who today will be presenting. I hope uh, you will deliver the good presentations, and then uh, I hope. You can uh, deliver the presentation with the clearly and also uh, easy to understand. Thank you, sir. Please, Uni Penawati. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good Happy evening. to see you again in this class. And the reason I'm joining today class because I want to know more about uh, the foundation of group behavior presentation by group. Four. and I hope you guys uh, good luck. That's my reason. Thank you. Okay, Vanessa, Vanessa, Yen, please. Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Vanessa. I attend this class today because I want to learn and hear my friend's presentation today. Uh, it is about foundation of group behavior. And I think group behavior is the interaction and the actions uh, in the group. Thank you, sir. Okay, good. Yes. Asawa Yuni? Asawa Yuni? Hello, Asa. Sorry, sir. Asa. Asa. Cristobal? Cristobal? Good evening, sir. And good evening, our friend. So, uh, I stand here for learn about uh, foundation of behavior. In my opinion, foundation of behavior is about uh, activity of a group. So thank you. That's all. 
Oke, okay, we last you lah, please. We last you lah, guys, ya. Yeah. Good evening, sir, and everyone. <coughs> nice to see you all again. Today, we will see our friend's presentation about foundation of group behavior. So, a group is can be defined as an individual that gather around to achieve particular objective together. While for a group behavior, it can be stated as a course of action that group takes as a family in company. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay. Hey, <coughs> Philia. Well, good evening, sir, and good evening, good evening, everyone. Today, our friends are going to have presentation. So, good luck for the friends who are going to present today, and hope we can get new insight related to the presentation. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome, Tiffany. Okay, good evening, everyone. So, today's class, we are going to learn about a new chapter, which is a foundation of group behavior that will be delivered by group four. So, good luck for group four. Uh, in So that I, I hope that we can learn something from that. Okay, Hermania. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, sir and everyone. So the reason why I joined the class today because I want to see my friend's presentation. And today material is chapter nine about foundation of group behavior. So what I know about foundation of group behavior is two or more interacting and interdependent individuals who come together to achieve particular objectives. So good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Good evening, sir and friends. So today I joined the class because I want to learn more about the material and good luck for the presenters. Okay. Thank you. Andrian do? Andrian Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, today I join the class because I want to see my friend presentation and learn the material from the presentation. Thank you, sir. Why you, Andika? Okay. Good evening, everyone. And Sradi, as usual, I want to learn more about organizational behavior. This time, uh, foundation about organizational behavior. Uh, I hope the presenter have a good luck. And smooth presentation. Thank you. Okay, Sabrina Ophelia. Sabrina Ophelia, please. I want to give my presentation about group behavior and good luck for the presenter today. Okay. Kevin Atanael. Okay, good evening, sir, and good, good evening, my friend. It's nice to see you all again. Um, today, my friend from Group Four will presenting about uh, Chapter Nine that discuss about foundations of group behavior. I hope they can deliver the presentation well. Thank you, sir. Okay, Octavia. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. So today, the reason why I joined this course because I want to learn more about the press, the topic that will be present by our friend. So I want to say good luck and thank you. Asha, Rabia to Alfia. Asha, are you in? Sasa Bila Deva. Hello, sir. Sasa Bila. Uh, uh, good evening, sir, and also my friends. My name is Sasa Bila Deva. Uh, the reason I joined this class today because I want to listen and more about the organizational behavior. Uh, materi which will be presented by my friends Hagi, Sylvia, and Chika uh, from Group 4 about the Chapter 9, Foundation of Group Behavior. Good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Ini Pemang Amanda. Hello, sir. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I'm I'm doing the class today because I want learn to I want to learn more about Chapter 9 about Foundation of behavior from my friend thank you okay adelia putyarito um good evening everyone my name is adelia and the reason i attend class today is because i want to learn from our friend's presentation uh with the material foundation of group behavior and good luck to the presenter thank you Aaron? Seren, Aji Pangestu, Aji, halo Aji, Aji, do, do hear me Aji, Aji Pangestu, 
What's it? Arya? Okay, good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. So today I joined this class because I want to see my friend from group four. It's about group of foundation behavior. I would like to see all of them, the material too, and good luck for them. Thank you. Okay, Adi Pangistu, please. Okay, so good evening, everyone, and good evening, sir. So the reason I join this class today because I want to learn more about the topic about the foundation of group behavior. Thank you, sir, and good luck for the presenter today. Okay, Jennifer. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. So the reason why I joined the class today because I want to see my friend's presentation about foundation of uh, group behavior. Thank you. Okay. Carlos. Uh, good, good evening, sir, and everyone. So the reason that I joined the lecture today is because I want to watch my friend's presentation from group four about chapter nine, uh, foundation of group behavior. Uh, good luck to them. Thank you very much. Cynthia, do you have Okay, good morning. Eh, sorry. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I joined this meeting because uh, my group will present the chapter 9. It's about the foundations of group behavior. And I hope you can, uh, you can active in discussions. And also, I hope the material can be beneficial for you. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, so hello, good, good evening everyone. The reason why I joined this Zoom meeting is because I wanted to see my friend's presentation and also getting an insight from it. So good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Okay, Muhammad Radhi Bagaswara. Okay, sir. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good Thank evening, sir and everyone. Today I joined this class because I want to hear my presentation about chapter Nine for the training of group behavior. Thank you, sir. Okay, there will be Narni. Good evening, sir, and everyone. Uh, the reason why I joined this class today because I want to learn more about today material is about foundation of group behavior and good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Okay, Catherine. Good evening, sir, and everyone. I'm joining this class to learn more about organizational behavior from today's topic about foundation of group behavior. Uh, I hope the presentation will be run well and good luck for the presenter. Thank you. Okay, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't open the camera because my signal is not good. And I think that if I open the camera, it will be um, what I know about the foundation of group behavior is that a foundation of group behavior is a group can be defined as two or more interaction and independent individuals who come together to achieve particular objects. Objectives a group behavior can be said as a course of action a group take as a family, for example, is child. Uh, I hope that the presentation can run well and good luck for the presenter. Thank you, sir. Elisa Pebrianti. Hello, sir, and everyone. So today I want to listen to my friend's presentation about chapter nine and good luck to the presenter. Thank you. Okay, yes, Nora. Uh, good evening, Sir Adi, and good evening, everyone. Um, so <clears throat> today we are going to learn about foundation of uh, group behavior. So uh, I believe that we all have ever seen any uh, groups in the society. Uh, so uh, that's why I attend today's class in order to learn and know uh, how each group in the society diver in their behavior. Thank you, Sir. Okay, Francisco Caterius. Okay, Sir. Uh, good evening, everyone, and good evening, sir. Uh, I enjoy in uh, class tonight to learn more about RM, especially the foundation of group behavior. Thank you, sir. Tata. Tata. Good evening, sir, and everyone. Uh, as usual, I joined this class today because I want to see my friend presentation about foundation of group behavior. So good luck for Agi, Sylvia, and Chika. Thank you, sir. 
Kayo nabil at yung hut asigat. Tepi Lorenzia. Hello and good evening everyone. The reason I joined this Zoom meeting class is because I want to learn more about foundation of group behavior that will be presented by my friends. Good luck for the presenter. Hope that the presenter will run well and thank you. Okay, Nita Fitri. Nita Dusa Fitri. Cek Karenia. Um, yes, sir. Um, today, um, the group will be present is my group, which is group four, and we will explain about chapter nine, conditions of organizational behavior. Thank you, sir. Okay. Agi Mayara Saifila. Uh, good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. Uh, the reason I am joining this class today is because uh, me and my friend Sylvia and Chika from group four will be doing a presentation about chapter nine. I hope the class will be active. Thank you, sir. Okay, Julia Gofi. Desi. Hello, sir. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry for the delay in entering the, uh, the Zoom meeting. Uh, today, we are going to uh, study about the chapter nine, and I hope that we all can understand very well and engage in the activity also very well. Thank you. Okay. So I hope and hope that all of you must be active in this discussion. Yeah. So your grade is, is dependent on this and your activity yeah, in this Zoom meeting. Okay, please. Uh, the time is, is given to Sylvia. Yeah, Sylvia will be hosted. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I have a problem with my computer. So uh, the one who will share the PPT is Tata. Tata, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, please take the, the, the time to present the topic. Okay, sir, sir, can we start now? Please start now. Start, please. Take okay. your time. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Chikaramia, and my other members are Sylvie and Agi. And today, we are going to explain about foundation of group behavior. Um, next, Tata. And our table of presentation is the first one is defining and classifying groups. Second one is stage of group development. Third one is group properties. And last one is group decision making. And defining and classifying groups. Group definition, um, uh, we define a group as a two or more individuals interacting and independent who have come together to achieve particular objectives. Group can be either formal or, in, or informal. Um, next, Pata. There are two types of groups. The first one is formal group, defined by the organization structure with design work assignment, establishing tasks. And the second one is the behaviors team members should engage in our stipulate by direct, directed toward organizational goals 
Example, um, for example, like members of an airline flight crew and the informal group is neither formally structured nor organizationally determined. Informal groups are natural formations in the work environment that appear in response to the need for social contact. For example, three employees from different departments who regularly have lunch or coffee together. Next. <clears throat> Why do people form groups? Social identity theory. Social identity theory is the perspective that considers when and why individuals consider themselves as members of groups. We have the tendency to take personal pride or offense to, for the accomplishments of our group. And the last one, social identity theory process proposed that people have emotional reactions to the failure or success of their group because their self-esteem gets tied into the group's performance. And social identities help us understand who we are and where we fit in with other people. Several characteristics make a social identity important to a person. The first one is similarity. And the second one is distinct fitness. Um, third one status, last, last but not least, uncertainty reduction. Um, and stage of group um, development. Um, and please, Aggie, read this part. Thank you. Okay, the five stage model, the five stage group development model characteristic group as a proceeding through the distinct stage of forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. Next. Uh, sorry, can you? Yeah. Forming, uh, I will explain about forming. Forming is the first stage, is a forming stage. Forming stage is characteristic by a great deal of uncertainty about the group purpose, structure, and leadership member. Test the water to determine what types of behavior are acceptable. This stage is complete when members have a begun to think of themselves as part of, as part of a group. Second, the second one is storming. Storming is the second stage, is the storming stage. The storming, the storming stage is one of intergroup conflict. Member keep the existence of the group but resize the constraints it imposes on individuality. There is a conflict over who will control the group. When this stage is complete, there will be relative clear hierarchy of leadership within the group. Number three is norming. The third stage is a norming stage. The norming stage in a group development characteristic by close relationship and co cohesiveness. This norming stage is complete when the group structure sol solidifies and the group has assimilated a common set of expectation of what defines correct member behavior. Number four is performing. The fourth stage is performing. The structure at this point is fully functional and accepted. Group energy has a move from getting to know and understand each other to performing the task at hand. The last one is adjourning. The final stage in a group development for temporary group is a journey characteristic by a concern with wrapping up activities rather than tax performance. Next. An alternative model for temporary group with deadline. Uh, the temporary group with a deadline don't see them to follow the usual five stage model. Studies indicate they have their own unique sequencing of action and it called it the 
Spoon's Twitted Equilibrium Model. The first meeting set of the group direction and then a firm framework of behavior pattern and assumption trap which the group will approach its project emerges sometime in the first few seconds of the group existence once said the group direction is solidified and is unlikely to be re-examined throughout through the first half of its life this is a period of inner inner tire the group tends to stand still or become locked into a fixed course of action, even if it gains new insight that challenge initial patterns and assumption. One, <clears throat> one of the most interesting discoveries was that each group experienced its transition precisely halfway between its first meeting and its official deadline, whether members spend an hour or power on their project or six months. The midpoint appears to work line and alarm clock, heightening member awareness that their time is limited and they need to get to get moving. This transition and past one and is characteristic by a concentrated burst of change, dropping of old pattern and adoption a new perspective. The transition set revised direction for a past to a new equilibrium or a period of inertia in which the group ex executes plan created during the transition period. The group last meeting is characteristic by a final burst of activity to finish its work. In summary, the equilibrium model characteristic group as exhibiting long period of inertia interpreted with brief revolutionary change triggered primarily by members awareness of time and deadline keep in mind however that this model doesn't apply all group it essentially limited to temporary tax group working under a time constrained completion deadline Next. <clears throat> Number three, group group properties, roles, norms, status, size, con cohesiveness, and diversity. Next. Uh, William Shakespeare uh, said, "All the world is stage, and all the men and the women merely players." Next, uh, group property one is roles. Uh, using the same metaphor, all group member are actor, each playing a role. By this term, we mean a set of expected behavior patterns attributed to someone occupying of a, a given position in a social unit our understanding of role behavior would be dramatically simplified if each of us could choose one role and play it regularly and constantly instead we are required to play a number of diverse roles both on of our job as we'll see one of the tasks in understanding behavior is grasping the role a person is currently playing. Shakespeare said all the all the words stage all the men and women using this the same metaphor all group member are actor each playing role by the system we mean set of expected behavior pattern attribute to someone equipping a given position in a social unit. Next, roles. Role perception is an individual view of how he or she is supposed to act in a given situation. Role perception and an employee's performance evaluation are positively related. The degree of congruence between the employees and the boy the boss perception of the employees jobs influence the degree to do 
to which uh, the boss will judge the employee's effective and employee who, whose role perception fulfills the boss role expectation will receive a higher performance evaluation. Number two is role expectation is how other believe a person should act in a given, given situation. In the workplace, we look at a role expectation through the perspective of the psychological contract and unwritten agreement that exists between employees and employer. This agreement sets out mutual expectation. What management expect from workers? Management is expected to treat employees justly, provide acceptable working condition, clearly communicate what is a fair day work and give a feedback on how well an employee is doing. While the employees are expected to respond by demonstrating a good attitude, following direction and showing loyalty the, to the organization. And the last is role conflict, a situation in which an individual is confronted by divergent role expectation. Most employees are simultaneously in, in occupation, work group, division, and demographic group. These all different identities can come into conflict when the expectation of one class with expect the expectation of another. Next. Group property two is norm. All group have established norm. Norm is acceptable is standard of behavior shared by the by their number that express that express what they told and ought not to do under certain circumstances. Norms control have norms control behavior by establishing standard of right and work. The norm of a given group can help explain member behavior for manager. When norm support high output, manager can expect markedly high individual performance. Then when they aim to restrict output, norms that support antisocial behavior increase the likelihood and the, that individual will enjoy it in divine workplace activities. Divine workplace behavior is a voluntary behavior that violates significant organizational norms and in so doing threaten that the well-being of the organization or its member. Also call it antisocial behavior or workplace inscivility. Typology of devi deviant workplace behavior. Next. Uh, next data. Uh, this is the typology of the Havian workplace behavior. Next. Okay, I will continue to explain about group property number three. Uh, group property number three is status. Status is a socially defined position or rank given to groups or groups members by the others. And status inequities create the frustrations and can adverse, adversely influence the productivity and willingness to remain with an organization. Incongruence is likely to reduce the motivations and motivate a search for ways to bring about the fairness. Let's say by taking the another job and because of the lower status people tend to participate less in the group discussions. So group with a high status differences are likely to inhibit input from lower status members and reduce their potential. Next. Group, pro group property number four, size. Okay, so the size of the group uh, is affects the group's overall behavior. But the effect depends on what dependent variables we look at. Uh, the smaller groups are faster at completing the task than a larger one, and the individuals perform better in the smaller groups. However, in problem solving, large groups consistently get the better marks than the, than the smaller counterparts. One of the most important findings about the size of the group concerns is the social loving. So what is the social loving? Uh, social loving is the tendency for individuals to expend uh, less effort when working collectively than alone. So it directly challenges the assumptions that the productivity of the group as a whole should at least equal at the sum of the productivity of the individuals. 
Next. Next is group property number five, cohesiveness. Group differ in their cohesiveness. So cohesiveness is the degree uh, to which group members are attracted to each other and uh, are motivated to stay in the groups. Next. Uh, this, this figures is show the relationship between the group's cohesiveness, performance norms, and the productivity. So cohesiveness affects the group productivity, and study consistently shows that the relationship between cohesiveness and productivity depends on the group performance-related norms. If the norms for quality, output, and cooperation with outsiders, for instance, are high, uh, a cohesive group will be more productive than a will a less cohesive groups. But if the cohesiveness is high and performance norms are low, productivity will be low. And if cohesiveness low and performance norms are low, productivity will be low. If cohesiveness low and performance norms are high, productivity increase, but less than in the high cohesiveness and high norm situations. And when the cohesiveness and performance-related performance, performance related norms are both low, productivity tends to fall into the low to moderate range. Next. Next is group property number six, diversity. So the final property of the groups uh, we consider is diversity in the group's membership. Uh, diversity is the extent to which members of a group are similar to or different from one to another. Diversity appears to increase group conflict, especially in early stage of a group's tenure, which often lowers group morale and raises dropout rates. Uh, one study compared groups that we uh, that culturally diverse, let's say by a uh, composed of people from different countries, and the other one is the homogeneous groups, uh, like a uh, composed of people from the same country. And the impact of diversity on a groups is mixed. It's difficult to be in a diverse groups in the short term. But however, if the members can uh, wither their differences over time, diversity may help them to be more open-minded and creative and to do better. Next. OK, next is point number four, group decision-making process. Next. Uh, there are strengths and weaknesses of group decision making. Uh, the strength of group decision making is group generate more complete information and knowledge. So by aggregating the resources of uh, several individuals, groups bring more input as well as the heterogeneity into the decision process. They offer increased diversity of views and this opens up the opportunity to consider more approaches and alternatives. And finally, Groups lead to increased acceptance and acceptance of the solutions, and group members who participate in the making decisions are more likely to enthusiastically support and encourage others to accept it. And the other is weaknesses of the group decision making. There are several of the weaknesses of group decision making. Uh, group decision making are time consuming because groups typically take more time to reach a solution and uh, there are conformity pressures. The desire by group members to be accepted and consider and consider an asset to the group can squish any any offered disagreement and group discussions can be dominated by one or a few members and if uh, they are low and medium ability members the group's overall effectiveness will suffer. And finally, group decisions suffer from ambiguous responsibility. In an individual decisions, it is clear who is accountable for the final outcome, but in the group, it's not. In the group decisions, the responsibility of any single members is diluted. Next. next. Okay, next is effective and efficiency in a group decision. So effectiveness and efficiency, whether the groups are more effective than the individuals, it depends on how you define the effectiveness. Group decisions are generally more accurate than the decisions of the average individuals in the groups, but less accurate than the uh, judgment of the most accurate. In terms of speed, 
individuals are superior. If creativity is important, uh, the groups can the groups tend to be more effective. And if effectiveness means the degree of acceptance the final solutions achieves, the not again goes to the groups. Uh, but we cannot consider effectiveness without also assessing efficiency. With a few exceptions, group decision making consume more work hours than a, an individual tackling the same problem alone. And uh, the exceptions tend to be the instant in which to achieve comparable quantities of diverse input. The single decision maker must spend a great deal of uh, time reviewing files and talking to the other people in deciding whether to use groups, then the manager must assess whether increase in effectiveness are more than enough to, to offset the reductions in efficiency. Next. Okay, next is group decisions making techniques. Uh, there are four group decisions making techniques. The first is interacting groups, which uh, typically groups in which members interact with each other face to face. Uh, the second is brainstorming, is an idea generation process that specifically encourage any and all alternatives while withholding any criticism and those alternatives. And the third one is nominal group techniques, is a group decision making method in which individuals members meet face to face to pool their judgment in a systematic but independent fashion. And uh, group decision making techniques uh, number four is electronic meeting. It's a meeting in which member interact on computers and allowing for anonymity of comments and ag agree aggregations of votes. Okay. Hello, Chica. Um, okay. After this is a question and answer session. If you guys have any questions, please please let us know. And maybe for this part, it's just like three questions for three people. Okay, guys. Do you guys have any questions? Hello. Can I ask a question? Yes, yeah. So my name is Sabina Kilia from Group 10. I want to ask a question for your group. My question is, uh, what can we do to encourage group con can't have stiffness. My question right now. Oh, okay. So your question is, what can we do to encourage group cohesiveness, right? Yes. Um. Okay. That was the first questions, and there are still two questions left. If you guys have any questions, please. Hello, Chica. Hello, Catherine. Okay, so my name is Catherine Fanny. I would like to ask, uh, in your opinion, what is the most effective group decision-making technique in current situation? Thank you. I'm um, sorry, could you repeat your question? Um, in your opinion, what is the most effective group decision-making techniques in the current situation? Okay, thank you, Catherine. Okay. And we still have one slot, one questions more.
answer just two questions. Um, okay, uh, please give me a sec to answer these questions and find out about the answers. Thank you. Um, hello, Velia. Um, so uh, the answer of your question is the first one is make the group smaller. And the second one is encourage agreement with your group goals. And the third one is increase the time members and spend together. Fourth is increase the group status and the perceived difficulty of attaining membership. Fifth stimulate competition with other groups and six give rewards to the group rather than to individual members and last one is sickly select the group um you already understand about the answer of the of your question that you asked for yes. okay thank you Pelia. And the second question will be answered by Sylvie. Okay, I will answer the questions from uh, Catherine. Uh, what is the most effective group uh, decision-making techniques in the current situations? So uh, in, in our opinion, because of the current situations, it doesn't allow us to do the face-to-face -face group decision-making techniques. So we think uh, the electronic meeting techniques is uh, efficient because uh, of this pandemic. On average, the organizations use electronics meeting like a Zoom, Google Meet, uh, just like uh, we do uh, right now. And uh, it's considered more efficient in place and time but uh, indeed, uh, there's a there's uh, still a problem, and the problem is uh, usually bad connections. Uh, does it help you? Is it clear, Catherine? Yes, Elfie. Thank you. Okay, thank you for Hello, your question. Yeah. Hello, Uni. Hi, I ask one question for you, group. Okay. Okay. So my question is. Uh, my name is Yuni Penalty. I'm from Group A. And my question is, how does status influence norm in the group? That is my question. Thank you. Uh, sorry, can you repeat it, Yuni, more slowly? Okay. How does status influence norm in the group? Uh, 
Okay, thank you for your question and give us a minute to prepare the answer. Okay. Hello, you, Uni. <clears throat> uh, yes. Uh, I would like to answer your question. So your question is, how does status influence norm in the group, right? Uh, yes. Uh, the answer is, status has some interesting effect on the power of norm and pressure to conform. High status individuals are often given more freedom to divide from norms than our other group member. High status people are also better able to resize conformity pressure than their lower status peers. An individual who is high value by a group but doesn't need or care about the group social reward is particular of able to disregard conformity norms. This finding explains why many star athletes, celebrity, top performing sales people, and out outstanding academic team apply voice to appearance and social norms that constrain their peers. As high status individual, they are given a wider range of distraction as long as their activities aren't severely detrimental to group goal achievement. That's my answer. It is clear. Okay, thank you, Aki, for the answer. Okay, thank you, Yuni, for your question. Okay, thank you guys. And I close the Q and A session. And this time is like quiz time. Um, the first question mentioned in order the stage of group development based on the five stage model. Who will answer these questions? Please let me know. Raise your hand, guys. Uh, and okay, let me read until the last questions. And the second question is, what is divine workplace behavior? And last one is, mention the group decision making techniques that you know. Okay, if you guys want to answer these questions, um, one question is just for one person only. And just please raise your hand or mute. Okay, thank you. Um, Chica, may I answer for number two? Oh, sure. Is um, it's a voluntary uh, behavior that violence 
significant organizational norms or and it's so doing threatens the well-being of the organization or its member and then also call it antisocial behavior or workplace incivility and that's my answer thank you okay thank you oh. you're right that is the correct answer for questions num question number two thank you adele Hello, Chica. Excuse me. Hello, Julia. Hello. I want to try to answer number one. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Chica. So the five test models are uh, first is forming, second is roaming, third is norming, uh, and fourth is performing, and the last is adjuring. Is that true? Um. Yeah. Fortunately, that is true. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Okay, still one question left. One question left. Who will answer this part? So still, oh, number three. Who will answer number three? Hello, Chica. Oh, hello, yeah. Um, may I try to answer number three? Sure. Okay, so uh, the question is mention the group decision making techniques that you know. So from your, from your presentation, I found four uh, group decision making techniques. Uh, the first is interacting groups. Uh, this is typical groups uh, in which members interact with each other uh, face to face. And then the second is brainstorming. It is an idea generation process that specifically encourages any and all alternatives uh, while withholding any criticism of those alternatives. And then nominal group technique. It is a group decision making method in which individual members meet face to face to pull their uh, judgments in a systematic but independent fashion. And then the last that I know is electronic meeting. It is a meeting in which members uh, interact on computers, allowing for anonymity uh, of comments and aggregation, aggregation of uh, votes. Is it wow, correct? yeah, that is the great, a great answer. Thank you, Ria. And I think um, our quiz time is just like for three questions. Thank you guys for your attention. And my name is Tikarania from group four and Agi, Sylvie will close this presentation. Thank you guys and thank you, sir. Uh Okay, so the uh, Kaina and his friends have uh, this uh, talk about good behavior, yeah? the foundation of good behavior. So, human, so we are humans, right? And you and I are humans. So, humans are social animals. So, when we are social, so what should we do? Do you, do you form group? Can you live alone in the, in the world? Can you live alone in the world? Sometimes we need to, to interact and to make groups, right? To form a group, yeah? Is, is, is that true? What about, in your, what about in your study? Do you also form groups for your study? For one subject? That's right. Do you, do you form group? Can you hear me? Can you listen to me? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you form group in the study? Yes, of course. Yeah. Why? Why do you form a group? Why do you form a group? It makes everything much easier, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And there. And there, there are sometimes the advantages of forming groups, right? And disadvantages. Can can you tell me the advantage of forming group?
do you find this advantage of, of forming group also? Please, what's your answer? Sometimes, so a lecture as the student to form group, maybe a group in five, group in four, seven, or group in three. So is there any weakness of forming group? To answer this question, please. What is group behavior? You know group behavior? Individual behavior and group now group behavior. What is group behavior? What is the definition of group behavior? Anyone answer? Don't be silent. Group is it group must be must must consist of more than one, yeah. At least two people, so that but why I assume what is group behavior? Uh, is it actually, sir? Can I answer? Uh, I think it is uh, like uh, actions uh, performed by a group uh, as a whole or by individuals. As, uh, as you know, that in the group, uh, we have uh, each of us, we have uh, individually, and each of us have uh, behavior each other. But of course, uh, as a group, we have a behavior that, uh, that we have, and it defines like the actions of the group. I think so. So it is the the collection of individual behaviors here. Is that, is that, is that true? So group behavior uh, is the collection of the individual behaviors, but the people in the but the people's behavior here must must follow the, the norms, right? The rules, so that is called uh, group behavior. Yes. Agree. So so individual behavior is is someone who yeah who behaves, yeah. But it, uh, the, group, the, the group behavior is the collection of the individual behavior, and then, and then, but the, the, the behavior must must refer to the the norms and then the rules set by the company. So right? it's a group behavior. So the behavior must be set by the company to gain the goals. So right? Yeah. Do you agree to this statement? When you form a group of study. What will we do? When you, how do you form a group of study? How do you form? How do you make a group of study? Can you tell me and explain? Well, by using the five models. The five models. How do you make a group of study or study group? Can you? What What is the first step? What is the first step? Do you know the first step do you, uh, to make a group? Uh, yes, sir. What is it? Uh, the first step of uh, for make a group study, I think uh, we must find the student have a uh, same goals with us. Okay. And after we find they have a uh, same goals, we can make a best a group study. Okay, it's, it's forming, yeah? Right, forming, correct? Yes. Okay. And then the next step, what is it? So when you have find the 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 people we have the same goals, the same interests, and the same willingness. And what what will what will, what will you do? Next? The next step. What is it? And you have you have got the people, so that with the same. The storming, sir. Yeah, storming. What storming? Okay. So what 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 will you do with storming? The storming face yeah. line. Uh, like when the pace when you reach the point with a new a new friends or a new yes. like when you make a uh, new groups with a new friends and you begin to notice their small yeah. action or small a uh, small a uh, small yeah. uh, uh, like small actions or behavior yeah. and you notice it yeah you can debate us right debate critics right to to us critics to us questions right it's an answer it's brainstorming is it yes agree or not agree is it you can yes. fight you can fight in the state yeah? <laughs> for your goal mm -hmm. right? you can fight <laughs> sometimes uh the members have different opinions is it yeah sometimes uh one of the, the members disagree with 
with you or the it is the stormy and then after that after stormy what what then so to make your people good and in good harmony not fighting the right what 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 must you do after stormy it's norming sir norming what is norming okay norming how do you how norming do you? is more like uh we set the norms and the rules for the members mm -hmm. so uh together they can achieve the organizational goals yeah okay. it's norming so so the rule is very important yeah the rule the policies yeah the procedures are right? the cockpit man is right? so must be must be had by happy members and must, must be committed to this yeah so your goal the, the goal will be achieved by uh, by uh, helping the public man and then so when you have no ming okay so the rule has been has been set right and then so the members must do according to the rules right? and what else and then you or the next step like this you know you perform yeah? you perform right? you perform yeah, do, you do the presentation right? Uh, you do so it's performing perform yeah you do so you do your jobs you do the works to, yeah, together as a team yeah? so you so that uh, you must have the you must have you must have the mem uh, you must have the team member good team members yeah, right? okay and after that after that after storming so when the when the when the the final test are come and the, the course has ended. Will you break up? Will you break the team? Will you break the, the group? Will you break up the group? Or not? So like this. Now you have group, yeah? Group of group of topic presentations, right? And then so after OB, after you pass the OB. Will you break up? Will you break up the group or no? I ask you. Will you break up the group or no? Because your your, your job has, has been completed. Because your test has been completed, and you get you suppose you, you get you have good uh, you have got good grades. What would you uh, will you uh, after that after that will you break the group or not? Answer please. Uh, sir, can you repeat again? Yeah. Your voice not clear in here. Will, because now it's very rainy. <laughs> yeah. Will you break up the group or not? Will you dismiss the group or no? And I ask you. So when you so you have formed the group of OB presentation, yeah, and then so so one got S S S three or two or so that, and when the OB the course has ended, it's finished, and you get you get good, good grades. So it's been that you have completed your job, is right? So will you this will you will you break up the group or dismiss the group or not? As you, as you. Anyone anyone to answer? Yeah, please, please. discussion. It's easy question. No, 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 no wrong answers. Eh? All the answer is right. I think no, sir. You will, you um, will uh, keep the group. Keep your group. Yes. You don't because, dismiss the group. Uh -huh. Because maybe next time I will meet them in another occasion, maybe. Eh, okay. good. Yeah, the other, yeah, the other, the student is the other opinion. Okay, me at the other and doesn't dismiss the group. So they still keep keep the group, maintain the group. So for the next semester, so when the lecturer want to uh, ask us the to uh, to form group, you have the group select. Okay, the other maybe who dismiss the group? So Ria doesn't dismiss the group. Ria doesn't dismiss, doesn't break up the group, doesn't break up the team. She has maintained uh, her groups for the next semester. For the other subject, correct? Right? For the next semester. What about the others? Who dismiss? 
So when you dismiss the group, it means it's adjoining, correct? Yes. Adjoining refers to the breaking up the group. It means that you dismiss the group. But when you keep the group, and you don't dismiss, it means transforming, correct? Yeah, transform. Understand? So when you break up the group, because you, you have completed the task, it means that so the group is dismissed, no group again, so that just because our, our task has been done, completed, it means that you have you have done a journey. Okay, so when the and I said, oh, we, we 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 don't need to dismiss our group, we can use this group for the next semester. Uh, it's means that like like we are set by uh, as said we said by Ria, it means that Ria has done transforming, so that yeah, just transforming. Which is, which is better, adjoining or transforming, in your opinion? Which is better, adjoining or transforming? Yeah, it depends, yeah. It depends on the task, right? it depends on the project, right? But in, in, in office, it depends on the project, right? Maybe, for example, the, the, the company uh, has a project and the project uh, needs another needs, needs another competency, so you must need another people set, uh, other people. So, uh, yeah, so you must, you must, you must, you must make a new group, so right? Yeah. So the, you must the first get a uh, forming, storming, norming, so right? Performing, and adjoining or transforming. So they are sick, yeah? Sick model. Yeah, adjoining or transforming. Adjoining is breaking up the group, and uh, transforming is maintaining the group. So that don't dismiss. Uh, that. So both of them are, are good. Yeah, depend on the situation. So that even by the company. Yeah, but uh, 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 example in lecture. Yeah, it's better you do transforming. So that for for the uh, like this, uh, like this. Yeah. yeah, but when when this group has mixed student. A marketing and then finance and then human resource yeah you must do you must do adjoining because after finish this task because you must dismiss your group set because your group has different has different departments yeah yeah it's different departments so you must dismiss that right? you must do adjoining but when your group as as the same uh, as the same direction you yeah, like you so this group is marketing yeah so you had better to do transforming yeah you keep the, the group, your own group yeah so so it is better, yeah, because you don't need to make a new group again for the next session, yeah, the next semester. You understand? So what what is the essence of this topic? What is the what is the essence of this topic? In your opinion, what is it? It means that, oh yeah, like in 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 your study, so you you will have formal group and informal group, yeah. So, what about group of study? Is it formal or informal? Group of study, is it formal or informal? Um, depend on the subject. I think. Oh, I, I see the formal or informal. Um, group of study is uh, group of study is group formal or informal? Informal. I saw informal. Um. You set the rule for your group study of study. You set the rule. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you said the rule, is it formal or informal? Oh, formal, but uh, yeah. When, what is it? Uh, like when we make a group study, we, uh, that is a we, uh, can depend of a uh, friend. Uh, and the rules is maybe yeah. You, you must have the rule for for studies, right? You must yeah. have normal, right? Normal, yeah. Right? yeah. It's formal, right? Because you must do norming. You must do forming and then storming and norming, so that you must find people that with have with have, uh, have the same the same goals, the same mission and vision, so that it's formal. When you go after after the class over, after the class is over, and you go to canteen with your friend, it is formal or in, informal? You go to canteen after the after your uh, the class finish, and you go to canteen for having lunch. Uh, there are the three students having lunch together. Is it formal or informal? Informal. informal. Is, there any rule for, is there any rule for that? 
No. So do you, 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 no. Must you must you do uh, foaming, no uh, storming and warming to eat together in a, in a canteen? No, is that? Yes. It's informal, yeah. <laughs> informal, is that? It's informal. Okay, yeah. So in in this case, so when you so when when you want to make a formal group, so you must do five stages, is that? You, know, you must you must pass the five stages. The first is forming, norming. Yeah, norming is like whirling, yeah, discussing, talking, yeah, discussing about the rule, discussing about the uh, the policies. Yeah, is it is norming. And other uh, uh, forming, uh, yeah, uh, storming, yeah, storming. After storming, it norming, so right? After norming is is uh, performing. Yeah. So when the group is still good. So if you maintain the group, it's transforming. But when the project is over and you want to dismiss the group, it's called adjoining. Is that right? Okay. Any question? So who will who will present the next 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 week? Who will present next week? Who will present next week? Chapter nine. Is that right? Who will? Uh, Catherine and Octavia, sir. Okay. So when you talk. When you talk a group, what subject must uh, uh, must be involved in this topic? What subject uh, must be involved in this topic to talk about group behavior? What subject? What discipline? What discipline? Because if you talk about group behavior, not individuals, yeah. In the, when we talk about individual, we talk about psychology, right? Quality, right? It is, it is, it's individual. But now we talk about uh, group behavior. So what discipline? Must you know for talking this? What is it? Please answer this. Don't be silent. You must be clear. What is it when you want to when we talk about group behavior? So when you are the manager, so you must you you will you will deal with the a lot of groups yeah, of people. So that, and what discipline must you know as a manager? So in order that you can manage your people well. What, what is it? Or what science? What knowledge? What subject must you know? What is it? Social psychology, is that it? Yeah, social psychology. You must know social psychology because you talk, you talk about group behavior. But when you talk about individual behavior, you, you must know psychology, is that it? What else is it instead of social psychology? What else? Sociology, is that it? Yeah, because you must interact, interindependence, is that it? So you must know sociology. What is sociology is the, the study of interaction, yeah, interaction among the people, is that it? What else? Anthropology? Anthropology, is that it? Yeah, you must know the culture, yeah. Yeah, the culture of the, the, main, the people in your, in your team is anthropology. And then politics. Yeah, you must know politics if you want to talk. When you when you talk, when you talk about good behavior, politics, how you must be able to influence the uh, the people in the company in the group. So that if you if you cannot influence the people in the group, what happen? <laughs> yeah, so the leader must you you must be the leader. So that that must be one of the leader in this group. It's politics. Yeah, politics. So that is it is the the subject you must know when you want to talk about uh, about group behavior and communication, correct? Uh, communication, yeah. you have to communicate, correct? How to make your members happy, yeah? If your members of the group are happy, so it's very easy for you to handle to manage, correct? If they are not happy, can you manage them well? If they are not happy, so as the, as the leader of the, of the group, you must know the the needs and the wants of your people, correct? Meet them very well. So you must you must set up the rule first, and then try to meet them, meet their needs and wants, and they will do for you. So right? So if they happy, they will do for you. Any reason? Is it clear? So when you when you when someone asks you. How to make, how to make group? What will what is your answer? How to make group? How will how, how will answer? 
Oh, it's the answer. How is the answer? How do how do how do you how do you how how can we make group? What is the answer? Yeah, the the, the pack model, yeah. The pack model. So you might be able to explain, yeah, how to form a group. Sometimes when you live in in a uh, in a uh, in a village or in in the society, so the people will ask you, now can you tell me how to talk, how to form a group? Yeah, you must be able to explain. What is forming? What is storming? What is norming? What is performing? Adjoining or transforming? Any question? So in essence, so we don't we cannot live alone, yeah. Do you agree? But sometimes we we like to to form a formal group, select informal group, select in a society, right? Yeah, we play together, select we play football together. It's an informal group, select. Yeah, we take a walk together. It's informal group. There's no rule. You don't need to make a rule for having having lunch, for playing football, set because you like yeah, for playing tennis, for badminton set. Yeah. But when you want to to form a badminton team, yeah, you might you make a rule, set it is a it is a formal group of badminton play, uh, badminton set. But when you do something, eating, drinking together. Or maybe you want to go to Singapore together. So yeah, it is also informal group. Yeah, so we all we always do the informal group in our society. So that yeah, we seldom do we seldom do the formal group. But formal group is supplied in the company in an office. So that at school. So that so at school the group must be must be structured. Where yeah, it must be structured. It must mean the when is the when is it structure so there must be the rule yeah the the, the procedure is that yeah and what yeah and is this is it's just a group yeah it, 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 this is the group right because we have rules so that the student must attend at, at what time study so that it's, it's a formal group studying yeah job is a formal group so that not informal formal but just the rule the way so that when the when does the lecture starts and when does the lecture finish? This is the rule. So, okay, if there is no concern, so before before we end this course, you must give the closing comment and what have you got? What have you got from this topic presented by your friend? Okay, from Desi, please. Desi, please. Desi. Hello, Desi. No? Okay, if I need, please. Okay, good evening, everyone. So I would like to say thank you so much, Archika and partners, uh, for delivering the sessions for today. Materials and that is quite good. And then I hope for the next presentation on next week's, uh, I hope they will give us, deliver us the the be, uh, <clears throat> more better of uh, PPT and also uh, materials. Uh, and then good luck. Thank you, sir. Okay, please, uh, Yuni Perwati. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to say thank you for who the presenter today, Aiki, Chika, and Chika and Sylvia. And I hope and the pro, from today meeting, I got a many new insight, you know, like about the the foundation of group behavior. And I hope uh, for the next friend center. Can give uh, give me and friend uh, more information about organizational behavior. And good luck for the next presenter. Thank you. Okay. Please, Vena Vanessa Yen. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank to the presenters, and it was a great presentation. And from today's class, learn a lot about group behavior. And it is very useful to make our task easier. And now I also learned how to form a group. There are five stages. It is forming, storming, norming, performing, and also adjoining. Thank you, sir. Okay. That's all you need. That's all you need. No. It's so well. So, uh... I want to say 
kawan atau saja dalam waktu akan Oke, okay. oke. Okay. Okay, so thank you group 4 and Sir Adi for the explanation about foundation of group behavior. Hope that this material can give us a new insight. So thank you and good night guys. Okay. Revelia, Teresa. Okay, so good evening, sir, and everyone. So for the presentation today, we got a lot of new insight. It's related to the foundation of group behavior. And then we know how to form a group by using the five model. And hope we can form a new uh, best group from what we learned today. Thank you. Tiffany. Okay, uh, first of all, thank you so much for Chika's group for already explain uh, the topic and then the discussion also ran very, very well uh, and I'm uh, looking forward for the next week presentation. Thank you. Okay, put the harmonia. So I would like to say thank you, sir, and who presented today. It's such a good presentation. I hope next week we can get better. Thank you. Okay, Okay, so today I got a new insight about group behavior, which is useful for the organization. And thank you, sir. And also thank you for the presenter. Okay, and then you are uh, Okay, thank you for the presenter and thank you for Saradi. Uh, today I got so many knowledge about group behavior and how to make a group. Thank you, sir. Okay, why you Adika? Bayu Anika, okay, Sabrina Felia, Ayo Bayu, Ani Bayu Anika, please Bayu Anika, Bayu Anika, please Bayu Anika. No, you don't hear me. Okay, please Sabrina Felia. So thank you, sir, and thank you for Sylvia's group who are presenting this uh, today's topic about. A group behavior and good luck for the next presenter. Okay, Kevin Nathanael. Okay, I would like to say thank you for the presenter who delivered a great presentation and thank you also for Sir Adi. Uh, I hope this uh, knowledge can be useful for my career. Thank you, sir. Octavia? Octavia? Tasha? Me, sir? Octavia, yes, Octavia, please. Yes, yes sir. So, uh, um, from the presentation that I already presented by my friend, I am so thankful because so many knowledge that I can get from the material. So, thank you. Tasha? Sasa Bila? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, and the presenter. Today, listen, I got new insight about the foundation of group behavior, and I hope for the next uh, presentation, the presenter can more better than okay. today. Thank you. Okay, Amanda. Okay, thank you, sir, for class today, and thank you for my friend presentation today. Very good and detailed explanation. I get more of knowledge about foundation of group behavior. Good night. Okay, good night. Adela Putra Rico. Adela Putra Rico. Uh, firstly, I would like to say thank you, sir, and thank you, presenter, for explaining the material today. Uh, and I hope we get benefit from it. Thank you, and stay healthy all. Okay, Seren. Adi Pangestu. Okay, so thank you. so thank you for the presentation and for presenter today and thank you sir. Yeah. So I got a lot of insight for today presentation. Thank you and good night all. Okay, Arya Paditya. Okay, so thank you for the presentation that already present. I hope the the material that already give it that make in the future make our make my future good. That's all, thank you. Okay, Jennifer.
Carlos. Hello. Hello. Hello, please, Carlos. Um, so, so from today, so from today presentation, I learned a, I learned a lot about the topic, uh, which is uh, foundation of group behavior. Uh, and uh, thank you for group uh for for presenting this chapter, and let's hope I uh, I hope that this uh topic will be useful in the future. Thank you very much. Okay, Sylvia, do you have any? Okay, so I think uh, there's a lot of things that we can learn from these chapters. And uh, thank you guys for your attentions and th thank you for your particip participations in our discussions. And I hope uh, our presentations can be beneficial for you. Thank you. Okay, Hello, so good evening. Sorry, everyone. Thank you for the presentation today. You did very well. And so I get your insight and knowledge about it. Please have a proper rest. Thank you. Okay. Muhammad Araji, Mulasara. Thank you, sir. And thank you. I learn a group can you, sir. Okay. Dewi Winarmi. Okay. Uh, I would like to say thank you for today's class and hope that all of us get new insight from today's class. Uh, good luck for the next presenter. Thank you. Okay. Catherine. So thank you for group four for the presentation. I got love, uh, a lot of insight of group behavior. I hope this will be benefiting for me in the future. Thank you. Okay, no Malia Sari. Elisa Febrianti. Tia Sandora. Hello, sir. Okay, no Malia Sari. No Malia Sari, please no Malia Sari. Thank you for the presentation today. Um, the, I get so many new insights. Um, good night. Sir. Okay. Yes, I'm Laura. Um, good evening, sir, and everyone. So, uh, thank you for today's presenters that have delivered the materials really well uh, so that we all can understand uh, the materials of organizational behavior. That's all. Thank you, sir. Okay. Francisco Scaterius. Uh, thank you for today, President. I learned a lot about the definition of group behavior. Thank you, sir. Okay. Tata. Okay. Thank you, sir. And thank you for Agi, Sylvia, and Chica for today's presentation. And I hope next week I can learn more about learn more about organizational behavior by the other presentation by my friend. Thank you, sir. Tarek Nabil Akil. Steph Laurencia. Thank you for the presenters today. Group 4, Agi, Chika, and Sylvia. They got new knowledge and many insights about Chapter 9, about the group definition and its classification. That's all and good night, everyone. Okay, Nita Sofitri. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, so, uh, Firstly, thank you for Sar and thank you for my friends for the mantra that has uh, been given for today. I get more information about the foundation in group study, so I hope this will help me in the future in the work of work. So thank you, Sar. Thank you, Rania. Um, okay, thank you for everyone uh, who pay attention about my group, group four. Um, that's all, Sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I would like to say thank you for Sir Adi who gave our group the opportunity to present a presentation in class and thank you to friend who gave who have watched the presentation of our group, group four. 
I hope the material about the foundation of group behavior will be useful. And thank you also to Tata who has helped group four present the presentation slide in the class. Thank you. Okay, Julia Goyofi. Julia Goyofi. Okay, I think it's time for me for you to say good night. See you later next. Next week, yes, uh, keep your health and see you later next week. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, please. Yeah. Who? Oh. Julia. Okay, Julia. Julia, sir. Yeah, please. What, what is your. Yeah, Julia, please. Okay. So, thank you for the presenter today, Tika's group. I get a new insight from this material and thank you for sir adi for tonight class and i hope next presenter will be uh, i will get more knowledge from it thank you good night all stay okay, healthy good and good stay good safe yes okay see you later next week next week yeah uh, keep your health okay, be successful in your study okay see you later thank you sir sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.